In this video, I'll be showing you how to solve mathematical problems on complex numbers using the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator, okay? Now, before we go dive into using the Casio calculator, I'll just take some few examples on complex numbers and then we'll see how we can do a rough solving and then we'll cross-check our answer using the calculator to confirm that what we solved is the same thing as what the calculator will produce, okay? Now, for this video, we'll be, I'll be focusing just on the addition and the subtraction of terms using um, the Casio calculator, all right? So let's dive right into it. So I'll just get my, my board ready, okay? I'll just simply get the board ready. All right, so let's look at the first example here. In this video, I'll be solving two examples. After I'm done solving, I'll use the calculator to confirm we have the same answer, all right? And I said I'll be focusing on just the addition and subtraction of complex numbers in this class. Now, let's start with the first example. Let's take an example. Let's say example one, all right? Example one, let's say we have two complex numbers, um, minus three plus two i. Let's add this, so plus. Let's now have minus one, uh, this, minus one, minus i, all right? So I have two complex numbers here. The first one is minus three plus two i. The second one there is minus one minus i. And I want to add them, okay? How do I solve this question? Now in solving, we've already taught the, co the concept of complex number before now. I'll leave a link to my video on complex number in the video description. But we said when, when it comes to adding complex numbers, what you do is that you add up the real part. The real part is the part that does not contain the i which in this question here, I can see this part here. I have minus three here. I also have minus one here. But before then, let's take off the brackets. If I take off brackets here, I'll be having minus three plus two i plus into minus, all right? Plus minus gives you minus. So that gives you minus one into again, plus and minus here. Plus minus gives you minus, so it becomes minus what i have here is i so we have this let's collect like terms uh we'll take the terms that do not have i that's minus three and minus one so that becomes minus three minus one let's take the terms that have i's that's um, the plus two i and the minus i so it becomes plus two i and then minus i so we have this all right for these two now let's proceed in our solving this will be equal to if i uh, this will be equal to um, minus 3 minus 1. That gives you minus 4. So minus 3 minus 1 gives you 4, or minus 4. Then 2i minus i. That gives you what there? i. So it becomes plus i. All right. So the solution to this question is minus 4 plus i. So that's my answer. Okay. Now let's try doing the subtraction of this. Okay. Uh, the same question. Um, the same question there, that's minus three let's plus two i, we have this. Let's use subtraction then. Now minus the same term there, minus one, then minus i. So we have this. Let's subtract this. This will be equal to first things first, take off the bracket. For the first term here, if I take off brackets, what I'll be having there is simply minus three plus two i, we have this. Now use minus to this, so negative, negative, or minus, minus there, that gives you what there, a plus. So I have plus one into minus, minus here. Of course, minus, minus gives you plus, that becomes plus, the term I have here is i, so it becomes plus i. Working on this, this is equal to, collect like terms, minus three and plus one. They are the terms that do not have i attached to them. So I have minus three plus, one let's take the terms that have i attached to them that becomes plus two i plus i that becomes plus three i okay or plus two i plus i if you want to um, i've already given you the answer but let's proceed this is equal to this is equal to minus three plus one gives you minus two so that term there's minus two so i have it as minus two minus two plus three i this is the value I get when I do the subtraction, all right? So you can see my answer when I did addition, all right? If I add this, my value is minus four plus i. If I subtract this, my value is minus two plus three i, all 
All right, let's get let's get straight to or let's go straight to using our calculator to solve this and see if we'll have the same result. Okay. All right, so let me get my calculator now. Um, so let's confirm the result using the calculator. Now, how do I solve this? Now you have to note that if you if you want to use your calculator in solving complex number, your first task is to put the calculator in complex number mode. All right. Put the calculator in complex number mode. That's the first task. And how, what do we mean by put the calculator in complex number mode? If you look at this on the calculator, the only thing we can see here, right? If you look at the calculator here, if you look at the screen carefully, you can see two things there. The first thing here is what you see here, D, right? D means that the calculator is in degrees. Math means it's in its normal mathematical operation form. That's what it means. Now, our first task would be to put the calculator in a complex number mode, all right? One of the things that makes something a complex number is the presence of I. And we said I means what there, imaginary. So how do I put my complex my calculator in the complex number mode? What do I do? Now, the first thing to do is come to mode, all right? If you look at the far right, top right, you can see on, you can see the button here, on, which is this one here. Now, if I come this way here, you can see mode and then set up. Press this mode here, this key by the top right that has mode. Um, this one here, all right? There's this key here that has mode, all right? Now, using the calculator here, if I look at my far right, you can see on here, right? This on button is there. And then there's this mode here. You press mode. I'll press on mode. You can see comp, complex, stats. That's for statistics, base N, equation. Five is for equation. Six is for matrix. Seven is for table. And eight is for vector. We'll go straight to number two, which is complex. So if I press two, I'll come to two. I press two. Now you can see that complex, C-M-P-L-X. That means complex. That means this question now is now in the complex number mode. So I can now solve complex numbers. All right, what's the first thing here? My first thing here is to type in my question. I'll open my brackets and type in the question exactly the way it is. So open bracket, the question there was minus three. So I'll press minus, I'll press three. So I have minus three, then go to plus, press plus, that's plus, then press two, plus two I. To get the value of i, that's the imaginary, what you do is this. You can see this ENG. Look at this key here. Before the black, the last the line, last line of the dark keys, before you come to the white keys, the last line here, you can see ENG here. Now, if you look at the top here, there's an i here. Look at this, this particular point, it's an i. So that means if you press ENG, it will give you i only if the calculator is in complex mode, okay? But I've already imputed this calculator in complex mode. So if I press ENG, this one here, it will show you i. You can see minus three plus two i. When you're done, you call, close the bracket. That means this one here. So you press this button here, this, and it, close the bra it closes the bracket. Plus, so I'll press plus. Open another bracket there. So you come to look at this key here, all right? Press this key, it opens another bracket. The next thing there was minus one minus i. So I'll press minus, so minus, I'll press one, one. I'll go back and press minus, so minus, and then i. We said for you to get I, you press ENG. All right, so I'll press ENG, ENG here. That gives you this. Finally, close the bracket. So I'll press this key here to close the bracket. So I have this. When you're done, you can now press equal to. If I press equal to, let's see. All right, so you can see my answer. The same thing I got when I did my calculation. That's minus four plus I. So it proves that this question is actually correct. All right, so this is how we solve this. Let's look at the negative. To get a negative or to subtract them, you do this, the exact same thing, just that you come, I'll come come back here. Come back here, where you had the plus, change the plus to minus. So I'll delete this, so delete, and now press minus. So basically you're doing the same thing, as you can see. Basically the same thing, then change the plus to minus. All right, that's all. So if I change it to minus, you can see that it's now minus. I'll now press equal to, so press equal to here. You can see my answers minus two plus three i all right so it's the same answer i got when i did my calculation so basically this is how you can do the addition and subtraction of terms use of complex number using the fx casio fx 991 es plus calculator let's try one more example and we'll be done with this class all right so let's give one more example and we'll be done with this class all right Let's take a second, a second example. Let's say I have the complex number. Let's say I have four plus seven i. I have this one here. Let's add this to another complex number, eight minus nine i. Let's add this. So if you are to add this there again, first, first tax, 
take off the bracket that becomes four so i have four plus seven i use plus to take off this bracket here of course since it's positive the sign remains the same all right so that becomes plus eight uh, plus minus that's plus and minus gives you minus becomes minus nine i so we have this this will be equal to first things first take the like terms that means the terms without the i's that becomes four and eight so it becomes four the eight there has a plus sign so four plus eight now take the terms that have i's that's plus seven i minus nine i that becomes plus seven i minus nine i this is equal to four plus eight if you combine this four plus eight gives you 12 so i have 12 seven i minus nine i gives you minus two i that's simply seven minus nine which is minus two so i have 12 minus two i if you want to simplify this further you can see this is equal to um of course Two can divide both 12 and 2. So you can, I can factorize by saying 2 outside. You're having 6 minus i. Because 12 divided by 2 gives you 6. That's this. And then 2 divided by 2 gives you 1. 1 times i is i. So this that's how I got my 2 into 6 minus i. Okay. 2 into 6 minus i. But my original answer actually here is equal to 12 minus 2i. This is probably what your calculator will give you 12 minus 2i so it's now left for you to be able to factorize it or break it down to this point okay all right that's my first answer let's take the subtraction let's subtract them um if i'm to subtract them i have 4 plus 7i minus i now have 8 minus 9i let's subtract this this will be equal to first since first again take off the bracket that becomes four minus okay this becomes four plus seven i now use the minus to eight all right that becomes minus eight so this becomes minus eight minus to minus here we know that minus minus gives you plus that becomes plus i now have nine i so you have this all right, let's take like terms. The terms having that do, the terms that do not have the i, and then the terms that have i. The terms that do not have i includes four and eight, or minus eight. That becomes four, and then minus eight. Let's take the terms that have i's. That's plus seven i and plus nine i. So plus seven i plus nine i. We have this. All right. So with this, let's simplify this. This is equal to. 4 minus 8. If you punch 4 minus 8, you have minus 4. All right, so I have minus 4 there. Then finally, if I punch plus 7i plus 9i, 7 plus 9 gives you 16. I'll attach the i. So here's your answer. If you want to, again, you can factorize this. How do you factorize this? Um, take the terms that can divide both of them or their LCM. The LCM here will give you minus 4. So if I bring out minus 4, that becomes what I have here is minus 4. It becomes minus 4 divided by minus 4. This will cancel. This will give you 1. So I have 1. Next thing you have is plus 16. So plus 16 divided by minus 4. Plus divided by minus is minus 4 here, 1. 4 to 16 is 4. So you have 4. Then bring down the i. So you have this. So if I factorize, I'll have minus 4 into 1 minus 4i. But what your calculator will give you is this first one here most likely minus 4 plus 16i. So probably what you have in the calculator is minus 4 plus 16i. The idea here is to know how to break it down to its lowest concept by factorizing, okay? All right, guys, so we've seen uh, answers when we use a, um, and when we do a normal solving, let's now use the calculator to confirm these answers, and then that'll be all for this class. All right, so I'll just get back my calculator. So if, if your calculator is not yet in complex number mode, you have to put the calculator in complex number mode, okay? So look at this, the calculator is in complex. And I said to do your, to put this calculator in complex mode, you simply press on, the number two is complex. So when you press two, right, press this uh, mode, okay? Press this mode button, this one here, by your far top right. You can see two is complex, so you press two, it's now in the complex. So it will show you CMPLX, that means complex number mode. Now, when you're done with this, what next? Let's punch in the value. 
So first things first, we'll open a bracket. That's this key here. So open brackets. Let's type in what we have there. Four. So I'll press four. Next up is plus. So I'll come to the plus key. Plus. Then seven I. I'll press seven. We said to get I, you press this ENG. You can see the ENG there. That's only when it's in complex mode. So I press ENG and the I appears. Next up, close these brackets. So you press this key here, this particular one here, to close the brackets. We are going to add them. So let's take plus. So plus, open another bracket again. So I'll open a second bracket. Next in there is um, 8 minus 9i. So I'll press 8. So it becomes 8. Let's now do minus 9i. So we'll take minus. So minus, let's take 9i. So I'll press 9. And then I'll press I. Um, that's this one here. This key, ENG. This. Then close the brackets. When you're done, press equal to. So if I press equal to, you can see it's the same answer I had when I did my solving, which is 12 minus 2i. And I told you how you should be able to um, factorize this and give your answer in its simplest form. All right. So we got this answer. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move over to um, the next one there. That's subtraction. So it becomes, I'll delete the plus. I'll now use minus. So basically the same idea. But then instead of plus, you type in minus. I will have this. When you're done with this, press equal to. I press equal to here. You can see it's exactly the same as we had when we did our solving. Minus 4 plus 16i. But you should be able to, as I said, break this down to its simplest form so that um, you have your most accurate um, presentation. Okay. All right, guys. So this is how we solve this question. Okay. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like this video. Okay. Hit the like button. All right. So hit the like button down below there. And also leave a comment. For your comment, tell us if you enjoyed this video. Leave it in the comment section and I'll give you a reply. If there are other topics in mathematics that you want to know how to solve using a calculator, leave the topics in the comment section and I'll look at them and then I'll tell you um, or I'll make other videos of them. Okay. Don't forget to also subscribe. If it's your first time here or if you're yet to subscribe, do all to subscribe to this channel. And of course, hit the bell icon and then select all so that you get notified whenever we want to upload a new content. Then finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Don't forget to visit my website, www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses, all right, to check out the available courses. Or you can go to the book section, uh, www jonahimano.com forward slash books to see my available books all right or you can even join my channel membership all right there's a channel membership there where it gives you access to exclusive contents for just channel membership all right i would encourage you to join my channel membership so that you get access to exclusive contents thank you and see you in our next class